It's ready. Got started. Is everything set up? You sure you want to do this? I feel like this top subject is just a bit sensitive for the current climate that we're in. I mean, if you're sure, it'll bring in guaranteed success and profit, but I highly doubt the problem is currently is our content when it comes to finding and seeking an audience here. Sure, yeah, tradition is important and all, but Again, we're talking the growth of a channel here. So is that really relevant? Can we focus on that? Maybe when we uh, find some alternate means. Get... Yes, sir. Uh, yes, I will. I, I will. Have, I will start soon, sir. Understood. Thank. Thank you, sir. Good ten more again, mine, mine come right in. Ah, oh jeez. Ah, uh, today I it will be your professor. Call me Rook, Rookwise, Wise, W, any, anything involving one of the letters in my name is fine. Uh, the subject matter and the title for this lesson. Nay, this guess, uh, this get lecture from a guest that is me is the woman is wonderful effects on virtual youtubing and viewership bias now before we begin what someone to be aware that this is subject that was guarded from academic evidence and that <clears throat> due to the nature of uh the fledgling nature of social media and virtual youtubing's influence on it there is not a lot of Research, research done on this. However, whether mm -hmm. true or false, or it's simply recency bias, I have seen many cases where uh, certain individual academic students and some sprinklings of lab controlled experiments done with social media as a global medium has been conducted such that we can garner evidence of how it needs human nature affects this. I believe that's probably enough um, <clears throat> disclaimers by that. So, shall be a lecture? As always, due to the climate of the world, this sh it shall be a virtual lesson. I'm aware that some of you may have had an in-person lecture with uh, the lovely Professor Fimaru Nise. However, I, I'm afraid that privilege is only for the local students. And I said, although you go since we're not able to attend it and perhaps saw recording some through some means, hopefully official means such as our university website, which is not actually just otherwise, this is a lesson everyone is able to do. And the only disadvantage is that you're enabled to feel my glorious presence in real time. So, without further ado. As the lesson shall show, so get out your notes, your pencils, your books, your erasers, your rulers, uh, and your abacuses, and listen attentively. Woman, the woman are wonderful effect is a term that has been used to describe the positive impact of female representation in virtual environments. As virtual YouTubers or VTubers have grown in popularity, there have been a growing focus on understanding the impact of women within this industry, examining any potential viewership bias. This lesson will examine the women are wonderful effect for VTubers to discuss how it relates to existing notions of viewership bias that exists already for conventional streaming from 3D avatars and real men and women in the industry. Using data from several studies, we shall explore the importance of female representation in VTuber content creation and consumption, as well as potential impacts on society. Now, starting with some historical context, Oten Shimokawa, Junichi Kochi, and Seitaro Kitayama, commonly referred to as the fathers of anime, created propaganda films such as Momotaro no Umenewashi in 1943 and Momotaro Umi no Shinpei in 1945. These two 
original anime that we know so so far was created as more or less as you can guess from its time period wartime propaganda which is more targeted toward a youth and young adult audience to understand the global happenings in in the world and how it affects <clears throat> and how it affects uh, da, da, da. uh as you see it's very much not subject for a female audience so as you said there was a large more male or gather not only due to its culture period during the time where female were seen more as domestic on the domestic side the family and the heart rather than in the wartime business besides of course in the factories creating various items of interest that benefit the wartime effort H however along came the rise of virtual youth which began in 2016 with kizuna ai who can be said to be one of the first characters to gain widespread recognition as a VTuber. Though some could argue that Annoying Orange counts as one as well. Since then, there has been an exponential growth in their presence and influence on YouTube's video streaming service. While most VTubers take on a cartoon or anime-like appearance, some are taking on more human forms, such as those found in popular video game titles like Animal Crossing by Nintendo or VRChat by indie, indie developer. The diversity among VTubers reflects the wide range of audiences they attract. While many viewers are young people aged between 13 and 24 years old, some are older adults who enjoy content related to gaming or other topics such as health and fashion and asthma. Virtual YouTubers can be divided into two categories, corporate virtual YouTubers and independent virtual YouTubers. Corporate virtual YouTubers are hired by companies for videos and live streams that feature the company's products or services and promote their brand positively. On the other hand, independent virtual YouTubers like myself are individuals who create their own content without the backing of a company. We have played a prominent role in both corporate and independent virtual YouTube channels. Woman, well, a wonderful fact, which we start here by known as WAW or WOW, is an effect observed in the contact virtual YouTubers and psychology and streaming platform like Twitch and YouTube, with female YouTubers having greater success than male ones. This phenomenon has a subject of increasing scholarly interest as social media's influence on contemporary society continues to grow, with the likes of Twitch and YouTube being at the forefront of its development. In this essay, we shall review studies on the wow effect and its potential impact on corporate versus independent, both male versus female versus YouTuber, and sharing platforms like Twitch and YouTube. My mistake on my tongue there. I originally wrote this essay, so I wrote essay instead of lecture. However, this is meant to be presented before you all. So, if you wrote that down word by word, I should correct that. Oh. There have been several studies conducting examining the WAW effect from a different angle. For example, exploring how gender affects celebrity production on YouTube gaming channels. The study found that fans are more willing to engage with female celebrities due to perceived more genuine behavior compared to male celebrities on the platform. Looking into identity formation on YouTube, feeling that some users use video content to present themselves differently than they would offline in order to gain attention from viewers in devices such as microphones and cameras, also studied identity formation while exploring how audio-visual presentations are used by viewers, used by users to create an online presence and attract viewers accordingly. In order to analyze the potential impact of the, the WOW effect on corporate versus independent and male versus female virtual YouTubers and streaming platform like Twitch and YouTube, a qualitative research design was employed for this study. A total sample size of several participants to select the first research study, which included several corporate streamers and several independent streamers, a few males and a few group females per group respectively, from the Twitch and YouTube platform as well. Data was collected via a series of interviews conducted through interview online technology about their experiences related to the WOW effect. Additionally, views count data was obtained from each participant's channel page and respective platforms for further analysis purposes. Subsequently, statistical methods such as correlation tests were utilized for analysis based upon obtained data set to draw conclusions regarding our research questions related to WOW effect in online streaming platforms. 
The results suggest that there is indeed a significant difference between corporate streaming compared to independent ones when it comes to viewership numbers, as well as audience engagement metrics such as views, media rate among standards, which can correlate with previous findings that will vary for audiences for to over the men. English streamers who are affiliated with corporations were found, or who found that either enjoy significantly higher average viewership numbers compared to those who are not affiliated with any companies or corporation. While there's no significant difference between male streamers, they're affiliated with any corporation or not, according to our data it's a collected data set. Additionally, it was found that both genders have significant higher views per minute rates when they stream under corporation finder, compared to not being associated with any corporation at all. Presumably due to a very robust marketing company or a marketing team from the respective companies, or perhaps having a previous associating history due to their past debuts. Findings indicate that women tend to get more favoritism over men when it comes to viewing and engaging metrics, regardless of their associated corp or not. Whereas men do not benefit from these effects unless they associate themselves with a company or corporation while maintaining their independent identity. This implies that, due to possibly social pressure within corporations, leading them to favor female streamers or male ones, even though it may be relatively minor differences, it is large enough to create observable trends and patterns among data sets. Our findings support for some limitation when it comes to interpreting results. Related to from a questionnaire service results and statistical analysis can this research project. Firstly, small sample sizes consist of only a few participants, which lack true representatives of the overall population being studied. Secondary, it lacks generalizability to some degree due to relying solely on two specific streaming platforms. It didn't switch due to the language, right? It may lead to biases to a certain extent. Finally, respondents themselves potentially respond biased by either intentionally or unintentionally answer questionnaire survey questions, thus causing confounding variables which alter results obtained during analysis study. Uh, analysis results in the study. Conclusion, we can see how the wow effect has similar implications for corporate versus independent virtue differs platforms like Twitch and YouTube as well as show favoritism for female over male counterparts, regardless of associated with any company according to the research project. What's that? So what was that? So both genders sniff your high view. Right there, no, right there. Corresponding with the previous literature established fields. That being said, however, there may be some limitations in communication. Where switch studies could be were connecting similar topics, we can ensure more reliable, accurate results obtained based on current events attempted here today. Based on our findings, we recommend content creator companies looking to improve for it. Platform focus improving on quality delivery services, bettering presentation next, providing more engaging, interactive experience overall to the user base, to help drive larger amounts of viewership in the long run. Additionally, there will be more extensive further research done in this area in order to better understand potential influences that come into play, favoring one gender over another. Such cultural, cultural norms in gray societies, whatnot, will also help generalize, generalize outcome gain today. For other contexts, where applicable, or needed to establish accurate thorough understanding of the wow phenomena affects ethical digital media landscapes. The role of women as corporate virtual YouTubers is to maintain an image that is appealing to companies. This often means having a cute or kawaii persona focused on creating content that promotes the object or services that the company 
Now, should these moments are accepted main pressure at all time, avoid any controversial topic or to damage your reputation? Women who do not fit this image risk being replaced by those who do. In contrast, women as independent virtual YouTubers have more control over what they present and how they present it. They are not tied down by a particular image, as they can choose how they want to represent themselves. Consequently, this gives them the opportunity to explore topics such as gender issues or race that may otherwise be censored in the corporate setting. Moreover, since independent virtual YouTubers are not tied down to a particular image or matter of controversy, they ha have more flexibility in terms of their content creation. When comparing the representation of women between corporate and independent YouTube channels, there's a marked difference in the way they are portrayed. In corporate settings where women need to portray a certain image in order to keep their job security, there's often less diversity than in an independent setting where women can freely express themselves without fear of reprisal. Additionally, on corporate channels which favor female voices, these often take a backseat while male voices dominate the conversation. However, on independent channels, female voices tend to be more prominent as creators have full control over their own channel content. Audience response towards female corporate versus independent virtual YouTubers also varies greatly due to differences in representation and censorship between these two platforms. On one hand, those watching corporate channels prefer seeing attractive female personalities promoting products because it fits within society's expectations for general roles in the, in the global landscape. On the other hand, Viewers on independent channels may prefer being exposed to diverse checkpoints from very different races or genders, since those messages may be more relatable for some viewers. As such, it is more difficult to say whether one platform is preferred over another, as it largely depends on viewer preference and exposure levels. Despite advances made by women within the virtual YouTube industry, there continue to be challenges faced by them to this space, especially when compared to male counterparts. Well, a lot of difficulties in companies can lead to female employees feeling undervalued or objectified, while females working independent can feel isolated due to lack of resources available to them. Moreover, these challenges vary depending on whether it's an individual, individual working independently or part of an organization due to differences in power dynamics between the two platforms and two different companies due to size. In fact, how much autonomy someone has over their work. Therefore, it is important for companies hiring female employees as well as individuals working independently to both access common resources needed in order to ensure safe workplaces that foster growth and creativity among employees. It is also important for there to be diversity within this industry in order to share fair representation across all genders backgrounds. Therefore, we can look at how women's presence affects corporate independent virtual YouTube channels. We look beyond surface level interaction, recognize importance in the diversity in the overall industry. This includes giving equal opportunities regardless of gender, so everyone can prosper without fear and retribution in the workplace. By taking into account unique challenges faced for each group, we can begin making progress towards achieving fair representation within this field. Remember roles which affect affecting corporate versus independent YouTubers channels different differently Due to the fact such as power dynamics, freedom of expression, censorship, and censorship. The achievers must see the appearing image of a company's eyes of female defense and have the current over a fact, or from depending on viewers' ability level. Female VTubers have also become increasingly popular over time due to the unique qualities and perspective that differentiate them from the male counterparts or the more larger male consumer base. Many female VTubers emphasize self suspension by right? simply relying on comedic or gaming elements like many male-led channels do. They also often cover topics related to identity, politics, or social issues that may not be discussed by traditional media outlets as much. As a result of these efforts, female VTubers become some of the most influential figures within the industry. When it comes to viewership, women play an important role when it comes to watching VTuber content. Studies so show that female viewers tend to prefer certain types of content, such as those featuring cute characters or story about relationships, to more traditional gaming, comedy, satire videos. In addition, female fans often, often, often watch VTuber because it allows them to escape from real life stresses, engage with characters that remind them of themselves. 
This highlights the impact women can have in drawing viewership for certain types of content, which can help broaden its appeal beyond traditional gaming audiences. The wow effect applies when these positive qualities lead to increased visibility for women performers within virtual spaces, building virtual content creation and conception. Having more female voices represented in this space can help create an environment that is welcoming and safe for everyone, regardless of gender identity or gender orientation. Moreover, increased visibility can also increase awareness about different issues faced by minority groups, foster greater acceptance among wider wider audience, and reduce this gap. Despite these positive effects, however, there may still be underlying issues with regards to viewership bias against male performers within the industry. Some research suggests that stereotypes about gender roles still exist within certain communities to lead viewers towards favoring female performers over males. In addition, certain marketing strategies used by companies, already in conventional marketing uh, use, may also prefer female-led channels over those featuring males leading. Some viewers who discard the latter altogether without even giving them a chance. It is therefore important for viewers to be aware of any unconscious biases they may hold, so they can ensure fairness when recognizing talent, regardless if it's coming from a male or female performer. Finally, the impact that women have had on virtual environments like VTuber content creation and consumption cannot be understated. Female representation helps create an environment where women feel welcome and accepted regardless of their gender identity or sexual orientation. At the same time, there's still work to be done when it comes to raising awareness about any potential biases viewers so everyone can get equal recognition for their talents. As society continues to progressing towards greater acceptance, female representation can play an important role in driving drive conversation around gender roles and perceptions about women's abilities. Virtual YouTubers or VTubers have gained have been gaining popularity in recent years, with many viewers tuning in to watch their favorite virtual YouTuber personalities. Whether male and female VTubers, female VTubers have been found to have a significant impact on viewership engagement. This lecture explored the woman and wonderful effect on female on virtual YouTubers and viewership bias in more detail now. The wow effect is from my world, which one people tend to have a more positive view of women than men. This effect has been found in several settings and not thought to influence our standard norms and general stereotypes. Context of virtual YouTubers, that can play a role in the popularity of female VTubers. Which has shown that female VTubers tend to viewership and engage on male VTubers. One study found that female, female VTubers have had, had an average of 1.9 million subscribers, while male female VTubers have an average of 800k subscribers. This difference in subscribers can be attributed to the woman is wonderful effect, where viewers may have a more positive view and favorable view of female VTubers and more likely to subscribe and engage with their content. The popularity of VTubers led to concerns about the woman is wonderful effect and viewership bias. However, there is limited research on this topic. One study found that viewership of YouTube is influenced by their appearance rather than the personality or content. Another study found that male VTubers see more views than female VTubers, but the difference is not statistically significant. This study suggests that viewership bias may exist, but it's not significant. Inclusion to women is one of the effects that exists in emotional bias, as well as a general case, with gender bias also exists in academic promotion decisions and corporate. There's limited research on the influence of the woman's wonderful effect and, and viewership bias, where some studies suggest the viewership of YouTube influences their appearance rather than personality content. Further research needed to determine whether the woman's wonderful effect influences viewership bias such female VTubers. The rise of virtual YouTubers has been fascinating for some amount to observe. One interesting aspect of this trend is the impact of gender on viewership. Some studies have shown that women virtual YouTubers tend to have a higher viewership than male virtual YouTubers, a female base. The woman is wonderful effect, which tends for viewers to be more and more and more. There are several reasons why the effect may be present in the virtue YouTuber community. Firstly, women virtue YouTubers often present themselves as cute and innocent characters, which can be more appealing to viewers. Additionally, the virtual nature of these characters means they can be more expressive and animated than real life humans, which can make them more engaging to watch. Another reason for the woman is wonderful effect in virtue YouTube is related to the demographics of the audience. Many virtue YouTuber fans are young men, who will be more likely attract to be attracted to female avatars. Additionally, the anonymity of, anonymity of the internet can lead to more accepting environment female characters who may face more criticism and harassment. They are real life women. Cross cultural studies have shown that this effect is small and more gender egalitarian societies. The ideal ideology behind the stereotype of otaku culture is that they are socially awkward and reclusive male with certain obese structures, which leads them to have an interest and female anime and manga characters as a waifu or woman of their dreams. However, 
Yes, the difference between male and female is not that men be more possessive of their favorite character. Despite the increase in female otaku characters over the years, male otaku desires still greatly shape anime and manga media. While there are many other character types which is female, the female otaku type, the phenomenon that influences people's perceptions more, as more likable and confident than men, Retailers have the origin in Japan, but become increasingly popular worldwide. It is within the otaku audience that preference for female women has become most apparent. The reason behind this can be attributed to a number of facts, gender stereotypes, marketing strategy, and identity formation within the otaku subculture. Gender stereotypes play an important role in explaining why female VTubers are more popular than male ones. In recent years, there's been a rise in moi anime girls, or waifu culture that appeals to male fans, or the greater uh, female representation in certain genres like Slice of Life or Band and Music I can explain why female VTubers are preferred by some male viewers who may see them as more attractive and endearing characters to follow or even idolize. Additionally, companies tend to market female VTubers differently from male ones, opting for cuteness or sex appeal for female characters for humor or skill for male ones. Female characters, such a marketing strategy have found to influence female preferences and contribute to the gender despair and viewership among VTubers fans. Additionally, socialization processes may also contribute to individuals' preference towards certain types of media content based on gender norms and expectations. Identity formation also plays a role within the otaku subculture, due to focus on fantasy worlds and media mixes, which promote traditional gender roles and expectations. Representation matters in the media content like Vita Russians can provide a much needed visibility for minority groups as women or non binary individuals who like anime, who may not have had a voice before this medium became popular. While there may be criticism surrounding the popularity of female VTubers over male ones, its accusations of perpetuating harmful stereotypes that objectifying women's bodies, it's undeniable that they represent one more form of representation that allows us to break away from traditional heteronormative media standards. Furthermore, provides a platform for underrated voices to express themselves without fear of judgment. Ultimately, understanding why female virtual YouTubers are more popular than male ones offers insight into how our society perceives gender roles and how we can work towards creating positive change through representation. VTubers are very associated with anime and anime troupe personalities. VTubers had the origins trying to take their wife personality into some live form. All things start by repurposing M Miku Miku Dance Software, or MMDs, files. You can ask another question on the same line. Why are there more of male clinical lights? And we're alive at a similar conclusion. People want to watch cute girls more than cute boys. It's precisely it. Viewers are, more appealing to, are appealing to much the same demographic as anime fans, but it's not fully distanced itself from that demographic. As a kind of specific VTuber culture, but I think that it tends to attract certain personality types. The generalized social norm, I think the left to culture attracts people, especially the female presented characters, because they're attracted to those social norms. What has been seen on VTubers, they tend to be very warm, but also very hyperactive content. There may something be something about the format that brings out, especially among women and men, the waifu culture, which is not that far off, but perhaps could be something also less, much less objectified. A talk culture, which includes VTubers, tend to favor, favor female characters and done so for years and over generations and personalities the influence of Japanese popular culture, where otaku culture in the global society has only been brought over recently due to the rise of the internet. That often emphasizes characters in media featuring cute, appealing females. Additionally, many otaku and Japanese culture into it tend to be male and referring to female characters' personality in the media consumption. There is some of us just as a wow effect exists in social media. For example, a study published in the journal Parents and Human Behavior found that female Facebook users tend to receive more likes and comments on their posts than male users do. Additionally, a survey conducted by Pew Research Center found that women are more likely than men to that social media is important for maintaining their connections with friends and family. However, it's important to know that these findings don't necessarily provide evidence for existence of the wow effect specifically. More research will be needed to confirm the effect in the context of social media. The wow effect 
refers again refers to tendency from people for men and women to have a positive attitude to perception that women compared to men. The fact is without cute men to their numerous sides and attributed socialization and gender stereotypes. Street people tend to associate positive traits and characteristics as kindness and empathy more closely with women than with men, leading to more favorable attitudes and perceptions. Context of virtual YouTubers also that viewers may have a more positive perception of female virtue YouTubers compared to male, simply because of this a wow effect. This could potentially lead to differences in viewership and engagement between male and female virtue YouTubers due to contact their quality is relatively equal. Viewership bias is a common phenomenon in content creation and consumption, where certain types of content are excluded or favored or prioritized over others. This glass can influence a number of factors to some personal preference and biases and industry competition. As a society and culture norm, plus the wow effect could contribute to viewership bias in context in which either system the female virtue YouTubers receive, therefore more likely to be watched and supported. The wow effect is observing various social media platforms during virtue YouTubing. Studies have found that female virtue YouTubers tend to have higher viewership than male virtue YouTubers. For example, a study conducted by a Japanese advertising agency, McCann Erics in Japan, found that women virtue YouTubers attracted four times more views than male virtue YouTubers. Another study conducted by a Japanese market research firm, Yano Research Institute, found that female virtue YouTubers were more likely to be perceived among young male viewers. The study also found that female virtue YouTubers are more likely to be perceived as cute and appealing than male virtue YouTubers. The, woman, the WOW effect has also been observed in other social networks such as Instagram and Twitter. That conducted by an analytics firm, Social Bakers, found that female social media influencers tend to have a higher engagement rate than male social media influencers. The study also found that female influencers tend to have a higher percentage of female followers than male influencers. The WOW effect has also been observed in Twitch TV, a popular live stream platform. Several studies found that female tennis streamers tend to have far fewer shift than male streamers. The study conducted by analytics firm Streamlabs found that female streamers have higher 20% higher average concurrent viewership than male streamers. So also found that female streamers have a 30% higher chance of being featured on the Twitch homepage. Another study conducted by the University of California, Irvine, found that female streamers are perceived as more attractive, more entertaining, and more skilled than male streamers. The study also found that female streamers receive more positive comments than male streamers. The wow effect has been observed in YouTube. The world's largest video sharing platform. Studies have found that female YouTubers tend to have a higher viewership than male YouTubers. So conducted by the Open University of Catalonia, found that female YouTubers receive more likes, comments, subscribers than male YouTubers. The study also found that he found that you female YouTubers are more likely to be featured on the YouTube front page. Another study conducted by the Pew Research Center found that female YouTubers were more likely to create content related to beauty and fashion which tend to have a predominantly female audience. The study also found that female YouTubers more likely to collaborate with other YouTubers, helped to increase their visibility on the platform. The Women Are Wonderful fact may also have implications for virtual content creators use female YouTube use female avatar and may advertise their money. Some virtual YouTubers, potentially in plans such as Twitch and YouTube, use anime avatars as a way to protect their privacy or to create a unique brand. However, research has shown that greater degree to creators who use female av anime avatars tend to have a higher viewership and earn more money than those male anime avatars. A study conducted by the University of California, Irving, found that female virtual YouTubers using anime avatars tend to have a higher viewership and earn more money than male virtual YouTube streamer, virtual streamers using anime avatars. The study also found that female virtual streamers are more attractive and more entertaining than male virtual YouTube virtual streamers. Overall, the wow effect is present in YouTube Twitch TV is more important to consider the broad social and culture dynamics that shape the experiences of female streamers. The evidence suggests that gender plays an important role in viewership bias, audience preferences, and live streaming platforms. Various social relationships are one side relationships with media faces, virtual creators using anime avatars, a study collected by a university like Cal Irv, one of the viewers of female virtual creators using female anime avatars. And have a stronger parasocial relationship with them than viewers of male virtual creators using anime avatars. So I also found that viewers of virtu female virtual creators are more likely to engage in supportive viewers of female virtual creators using anime avatars. The world of online media has grown exponentially in recent years, and with it, the concept of virtual YouTubers and parasocial relationships. A virtual YouTuber, VTuber, is an avatar like chat that streams video content and platforms like Twitch and YouTube, such there is no real person shown, and any other natural biases and disadvantages that person may have are considered null and void. 
This has led to a growing interest in understanding what drives these parasocial relationships between view YouTubers and their viewers. Besides the one that already exists among conventional streamers and their viewers. The wild effects suggest that female characters tend to be more successful in listening how is their responses on viewers and from viewers and male avid characters. This lecture analyzing the effects of the wow effect on virtue to a parasocial relationship from viewers on Twitch and YouTube, examine related literature, propose a theoretical framework, and discuss research methodology, presenting a data analysis, using findings, and acknowledging limitations, and future direction for research. Two studies have explored the relationship between gender representation and media success. It's such that LGBTQIA plus identity plays a key role in success. The successes of TikTokers in lockdown, as constituents, succeed to comfort an interpersonal connection with marginalized actors whose queer identities resonate with them. The similarities are lack there of um, niche audiences, which help grow a foundation for a reoccurring reviewing audience. It's also been found that female streamers more likely to gain higher view numbers than male interest. We have seen as creating better content and providing additional layer of content, additional layer of conventional entertainment to their gender. However, there's been less research that's specifically focusing on what factors drive parasocial relationship between viewers and the viewers on stream platforms such as Twitch and YouTube. The wild effect for tendencies for female characters to list higher ratings from viewers and male avatars on the, in the emotional set in the emotional range. There is based on the idea that women create stronger emotional connections with viewers, the combination of factors to physical attractiveness, voice inflections, facial expressions, intelligence, agility, and ability to influence. Agility and ability to emphasize. This is just that female VTubers have established deeper levels of trust through this, which establish more of solid and deeper guess relationships than male VTubers, VTubers can achieve, which could lead to greater viewership numbers and monetal support. Female VTubers tend to outperform male counterparts, thus establishing strong parasocial relationship with their viewers. Do the various factors such as social group levels of empathy or attractive physical appearance, and as discussed earlier, the results may differ across genders, and considering different types of streaming content such as gaming and live streams, etc. But overall, women share a more victorious when it comes to forming a meaningful connection with audiences joining them. I should do it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This study may differ, from, may suffer from some limitations due to reliance upon self-report measures. And participants may not always remember past experiences accurately, which will affect results accuracy. Accurately. Additionally, the study only focuses on gender differences within virtual YouTube communities. So further studies could examine other aspects like geographical location in the real world, age, etc., which can influence parasocial behavior among streaming audiences. Furthermore, if sample size travel for same limits generate a large sample size for data future series taking similar objectives. By examining how the WOW theory influences parasocial relationships between virtual YouTubers and their audiences, through reviewing existing literature, constructing theoretical frameworks, researching methodology, analyzing data, it's shown that female streamers tend to perform better than male due to recent discussion, greater empathy, and appealing physical features, among others. Parasocial interaction can benefit females more than men in a number of ways, particularly in the context of social media and entertainment. One potential benefit is increased visibility and opportunity. Their career careers who develop strong parasocial relationship with their viewers may be more likely to receive positive feedback, encouragement, and emotional support from their viewers, improving on future content. This can contribute to a sense of belonging and well-being that females have already been more well known to foster previous iterations of civilization. Where females were conventionally seen on the domestic side and current second and third world countries as homekeepers and hearth bakers. And bed makers. In recent years, female VTubers have gained significant follower, some of the top creators earning millions of views and dollars. One reason why female VTubers are successfully successful is that female, female VTubers are perceived as more attractive and retained appeal than male VTubers, as well as being and arriving first. This exception may be due to a variety of factors. Female VTubers seem more approachable and relatable than male VTubers. They also seem as catering to wider eyes, men their videos focus on. That's a game in beauty and fashion that differs predominantly in the female audience. The female VTubers are more likely to co collaborate with other virtual creators and to increase the visibility on platform. Many have developed large and loyal followers, some have become the mainstream celebrities in Japan. The woman with the wow effect is present in the world of virtual YouTubers from among female VTubers. The fact may due to variety of factors and relating the ability of female VTubers to create a wide audience, the woman just collaborate with other creators. 
have a request they also fill in these unique challenges. With these challenges, you can look at can a thrive and spread audience the talent and creativity of more than male VTubers. There's this potential explanation that hypothesis. In the more recent data for exploring this relationship and the wild fact which YouTube is envisioned by. So, so much attention reason maybe the wild fact that measure unexpected. Perhaps some attitude towards work of which YouTube is making more pain to do is gender representation while the more YouTubers, which YouTubers of all genders can be successful, the larger audience of the male female of which YouTube. I think that from viewers looking for representation and diversity in their content, cultural norms and stereotypes. Depending on the culture and society, some of the certain gender norms and protection that influence viewers' preference and bodies like you know, female virtue YouTubers. And content and personality. Ultimately, viewership and success have to come down to quality of purely content. And personality of virtue. Female virtue YouTubers may have more engaging, entertaining, and relatable content and difficulties. A lower difficulty bar. That resonate with viewers. It's important to know that these are just potential explanations and hypothesis. Uh, deeper research and analysis is necessary. We need to fully assess the dynamics of popularity and viewership in the virtual YouTuber community. This is very surprised when individuals view women more positive than men seem to play a massive role in VTuber viewership. The primary is the reason for the wow effect that we attribute to social norms that have been created us since childhood. We are taught to view women as women as nurturing, caring, and emotional being, while men are seen as aggressive, dominant, da, 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 and logical. This stereotype has been reinforced across various social media platforms for decades. Marketing strategies lead to subconscious bias towards women. It comes to viewership and entertainment. This bias has been translated into the virtual world of VTubing, where female VTubers have been shown the highest significant, higher statistical advantage. Studies have shown that female virtue is more like gender perceived as more likable. Uh, lost my head. Where I was. Reliable and entertaining and female veto. Relatable. Wow, effect have seen the impact both male and female veto. And both genders being more likely to subscribe and engaging with female veto. That is not saying male viewers are not successful talented, but rather the wow effect. Works in favor of female VTubers, naturally, in the title. But it also highlights the need for more diverse orientation of virtual entertainment we see detrimental to male VTubers, which is just as disturbing a risk of sensitive recommendation. Learn to determine whether there's gender bias in the culture. It requires knowing about the history of the major religion that exists in the state of women, women and men in religion. The claim that the gender bias exists in the religion emanation that pain that women should be more oppressed in certain religions are some argue that gender bias is promoted by affirmation to religious abuse in a negative way, and religion has defined roles of both men and women. These differences play an important role in promoting gender biases. In all the religions, gender bias links the dominant role that men play in religion and in the society. The religious perception of both men and women are the role that determines an important fact determining whether gender bias in religion exists at all. The Torah and the book of Exodus 21.10 support polygamy, which can be gender bias against women. Despite the gender bias in Judaism, Several women are recognized as role models in the scriptures. Modern Judaism has now allowed active participation of women in reading the Torah, serve as a cantarian part of the Minyan. This teaching opposed roles that promote gender bias. The church is keen to promote the important value of women as a virgin mother. However, the issue of gender bias in the church led to the commercial women's movement with the aim of changing woman, the role of women in the church. For example, the Christian feminism movement is trying to challenge some traditional Christian interpretation of the Holy Scriptures to define the role of women. Confirmation bias, the tendency of people to prefer information reinforces the thought belief they have. People demonstrate this bias in their information selective when interpreted the bias way. It's like the strong way for emotion issues and for deeply related rooted beliefs. However, based on a critical exam from a critical examination, I would wonder whether gender readily, readily defined and determined individuals' competency and efficiency. This is most especially true as the case of the re relegating leadership and managerial roles. By strong efforts to eliminate, if not totally eliminate, gender bias. Women can they suffer from discrimination and unequal distribution of power? Conducted on 20th of May 2013. Findings from secondary research from YouTube. One of the more, more and most successful websites in the world. Made people watch and therefore and listen to this website. As a result, you can be effective advertising, medium, and marketing. Therefore, more companies spend a lot of time money and you can increase their revenue. Last question, what factors make them interested in the online radio type? 
Or already anticipated product. Also, where twenty percent participants said that because pop stars advertise the product. And the people think the sound effects and made the products the same. Fifteen percent. And it's just ten percent of predictions were interested in the online video advertising baby gift vouchers. Their was designed to find out how YouTube increases company revenue. Whether YouTube changes people shopping or find YouTube is advertising. And then YouTube can find out whether YouTube changes people shopping or find YouTube is ever useful advertising to a company. And give advice to companies how YouTube can be used to increase company revenue. Some offer advice is ways in which YouTube may for shop changes shopping average. Which the, were the products based on secondary research and primary research. Secondary research was used to gain information about YouTube and there is a fact that folks, journals, news, and websites. From what a virtual YouTube first started in Japan, the early community will kind of have been the first six successful YouTube community. Being popularity for cute kinds from the magic star, the viewers are already familiar with anime characters from Asia, like from all their friends. I said, I see the influx of new from female virtual YouTube, virtual talent. That's it. Mira Kiri, Nekomiya Hinata, Inugani Komurume, and many more. These female virtue YouTubers have become increasingly popular in Japan. Their relatability to otaku culture fans and appeal as discussion points among friends. The success of Japanese virtue rights led to its failures from across different countries of the world, across the world, around the world, but mutually traded to platforms like YouTube. They were created from different parts to connect with each other, bypassing the language barrier. And the emergence of global online social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch, Content of online virtual YouTube has become widespread throughout the world. In recent years, we've seen an increase in international collaboration between different countries, virtual YouTube industry, which has dramatically increased its reach. Furthermore, with technology advancements such as motion capture suits, advanced graphics design software, and video editing tools, and available public videos, it has allowed international creators to create high quality content, easily enabling even more YouTube to have now become a phenomenon. The role of talk of culture and virtual YouTubing, popularity, the first to, uh, talk of culture refers to a group of people who are highly passionate about a certain topic of fandom, anime or manga series. Otakus tend to be more drained to other things that they find more interesting rel and relatable in their respective medium. Thus, it's not surprised that they attracted with virtual YouTubers. They love interacting with characters that are more that are appealing. Often, between these characters engaging with these things related to them, the otakus can feel closer connected with characters, which can bring joy to their lives. Not only do the tacos enjoy watching these videos, but also actively participate in helping them grow by recognizing them on social media platforms such as Twitter or Reddit. Through this process, many fiction virtues have found such major enthusiastic support from fans associated with the taco culture. For a female virtue YouTube popularity, there's been success that female virtue YouTube is more far more popular than male ones globally. That's actually true, like I said, in Japan, 100% of five most popular YouTubers are being female. Two out of ten are being male. It's like Japan too, you can see similar term majority of most subscribers are run by female. In countries like Japan where there's an explosive growth of virtue YouTubers within the past few years, most subscribed channel belongs to females. Only four out of ten subscriber base consists of males. Similar trends can be observed in the US, where top five most subscribed channels belong to female, one remaining five belong to male. Well, it, certain evidence suggests the opposite is true in social media platforms like conventional streaming, such as Twitch. Clear then, female virtue have outperformed males greatly when it comes to uh, subscriber base. As to the reason for female virtue is popular, there, there could be various reasons why female virtue have managed so much more proper than, glo than girls globally, worldwide. One main factor is true to how they present themselves in life. Oh, funny, can you get which is quite a about female virtue YouTubers, which is the ideal life exchange, which I'm quite involved in, highly entertaining, relatable anyway, along with this effect, which helps to boost their popularity. Also, many times, it's the partnership between multiple virtue YouTubers, female just vultures, create synergy, and creating content even more enjoyable to watch. All these factors contribute now seem to making female virtue YouTubers just incredibly more popular than viewers all over the world, creating a snowball effect. Well, if you was too overwhelming, the dominant comes around. There's still some female YouTubers manage high, manage to gain high amounts of popularity despite low overall number compared to female content. One example is a fire, fighting vampire guy whose impressive female subscribe channels were widespread. Him being the first ever male YouTube channels, corporate channels, created back in 2018. 
Some with a handful of other examples like Canal, some magic gay nurse that the loyal fan base may associate with the Taku community. Overall, though, it includes the female gender very dominant when it comes to the global numbers when compared to males. And their impact in the VTuber on the Taku culture? Virgin YouTubers had a significant impact in the Taku community over the past few years. A largely positive one, though, mind you. <coughs> so the pride of Afar. Community members could feel excess and self often in GS straight away. Everyone was concealed behind the individual avatar, hence lying to lending a feeling of community acceptance, where you she otherwise wouldn't get the real life interactions. Secondly, thanks to streaming services, several smaller anime because they would achieve higher month recognition worldwide due to this popularity, thereby giving a chance to uh, potential more potential work that was going on previously. Lastly, since YouTube era concepts with their in the technology of advancement, the common possibility of using cre YouTube creation took it, creating stunning visual using motion capture suits, or designing catchy music songs, etc. The artists express themselves creatively in ways that haven't done before. Not only under represented levels of creativity, they have before seen within the genre. Inclusion. It is clear to see that female YouTube are far more popular than compared to male virtual YouTubers. Globally, mainly due to various factors such as attractive look personality among the content, and locally within Japan, due to being one of the four forefathers or four mothers of this subgenre. In the wide range of content, such as gaming activities, talk shows, etc., you just find this more entertaining, relatable, and watchable, and bearable. Especially support from enthusiastic, enthusiastic fans along the talk community greatly contribute to their, incre their increasing popularity, which help boost females greatly and males not, not as much. Overall, though, it's none of the fact that female VTubers are shy male significant. Overall, the woman is the wow effect is a fascinating phenomenon in the virtual YouTuber community. How does the complex ways in which gender and media interact and raises important questions about representation and audience preferences? The success of female virtues may be part the woman is wonderful fact, but it's also due to their talent, hard work, and creativity. Inclusion, the woman are wonderful fact has significant influence impact on the success of virtue female virtue. But while the effect can be positive, it essentially recognizes based on society by to be addressed ASAP. The virtual entertainment industry must strive for more gender diverse station of entertaining, resisting the call of capitalism, talent and not gender determined success, but doing so in creating more inclusive and capable virtual world for all. Where did I get the research for all the subjects? I made it the fuck out. And that has been all. If you enjoy what you saw, please consider <clears throat> saying for after class questions, where if there is no question present, I should be reviewing the current anime or the next upcoming anime season for 2022. Thank you for watching. Good time. Me.